Nanakuma. This is good enough. I've entered college this spring, so it's been three months since I started living by myself. However, my housework skills have never improved at all. Damn, I forgot to cook rice. It'll take 30 minutes at least, but I need rice when I eat meat. Oh, it's a pain in the ass to go to the convenience store. Delivery? Oni-chan! Sana? She's my little stepsister who's two years younger than me. Our parents got married before I entered high school. This is Maratoku. He'll be your big brother. Nice to see you. She's got to be uncomfortable. I've always wanted a big brother. I'm really glad. Oh, um, I hope we'll get along. I never thought she'd smile at me like this. And I got such a beautiful mom. I feel like I'm in a dream. I'm also glad to have such a cute daughter. We wouldn't have become close that fast if it weren't for Sana. We started bonding as a family gradually. I miss you so much. I can't get through a day without you. Sana. So, I'm moving in with you. What? Dad and Mom are fine with this. And summer vacation starts today. Hey, this is nuts. Everyone can't help but spoil her. Well, I have an empty room, though. My father and I used to live in this apartment before he married my stepmother. He could have sold it, but kept it so that I could move in when I entered college. I can live in your room. I don't mind that. You're a high school girl. It's not going to happen. I don't want to miss a second to spend with you. You should get rid of your brother complex. Despite what I said, honestly, I'm glad she likes me a lot. Oni-chan, wake up. It's morning. Why is Sana here? Am I in a dream? No, she moved in with me. Ah! Keep your voice down. Sana, what are you thinking? Do you like this? No, get changed. Mm. Sana keeps acting weird. Ta-da! What do you think? <laughs> hey! Don't worry, I'm wearing a camisole and shorts. You should know I'm not a perv. Oni-chan, may I wash your back? No! Come on, I'm just trying to communicate with my brother. There's no communication like this. She never did any of that when we were living together. What's going on? Monado. Hey! This is Miharu. We've been childhood friends since kindergarten. Actually, I became attracted to her after we entered middle school and tried to confess my love to her on the day of the high school graduation ceremony. So, we're graduating. Yeah. You know, I'm going to Nanakuma College. I'll move out of my parents' place and live by myself. Say it, it'll be a long-distance relationship, but I want to date you. It's easy. I could never take the plunge and tell her my feelings before, but we're going to be separated. It's now or never. The thought motivated me. I'm going to Nanakuma College and living by myself, too. What a coincidence. Huh? I hope we hang out from now on, too. Yep. There you are! Sana. This is the last day you wear your school uniform. We should take a picture together. Y yeah. Oh, I couldn't say it after all. Oni-chan, are you really gonna move out? Don't worry, I'll take care of him. Oh. We've been together ever since we were little. From now on, too. <gasps> yeah, what does she mean by that? Miharu-san, you don't have to take care of him. Oni-chan, let's go. Dad and Mom are waiting for us. Okay, Miharu, see ya. See you. Miharu and my majors are different, but we're in the same college club and live in the same apartment building. I see her almost every day, so we've become even closer than we were back in high school. Instead, I've lost the nerve to confess my love to her. Why don't we have a hot pot dish tomorrow after club activities? My parents sent me food. You're not eating properly, are you? Well, actually, Sana is over at my place. Ah, because summer vacation started? She has such a strong brother complex. Actually, it's not just during summer vacation. She kind of moved in with me. What? Why? She told our parents she'd quit high school unless she could move in with me. She's so spoiled. So you two live together? Yeah, I had a room for her, so I thought it'd be alright. But you two are step-siblings. I don't think it's appropriate for you two to live together. We're not blood-related, no. But she's nothing to me beyond a little sister. Maybe she doesn't feel that way. That's... well, she's been weird since we moved in. How? 
She woke me up in some sort of sexy clothes and hopped in on me in the shower. I guess she was really lonely while we were separated. Her brother complex has become stronger. Hey, hey, this is no good. What? She's seducing you. <laughs> no way. She just wants me to spoil her. Well, she's going a bit far, though. Jeez. Open wide. Hey, you know I'm not a kid. I want to do what a couple would do with you. And get a boyfriend. But you're a high school girl. Control yourself. Then I'll... I got a message. Ugh. It's Miharu. Wow, seriously? Um, are you okay? That's rough, sure. Who are you messaging? Miharu. What? She lives in this building, right? Yeah, and... Here she comes. Oni-chan? Hey, it sucks, huh? Pretty much. Thanks a lot. Uh, hold on. What's going on? The resident above her is having a water leak. I'm gonna live here until he has it fixed. What? No, I won't accept that. Sana. Okay, then you should go back to your parents' place. I bet they miss you. Why would I go back? You should go back to your parents' place. I can't. I'm in a college club. There'll be trouble if I'm not around. Right, Monato? Yeah, our volleyball club doesn't have many experienced members. The two of us participated in the national tournament. They need us. Did you hear that? You can go to college from your parents' place. It'll take more than an hour and a half. I have a part-time job, too. I'm busy, unlike a high school girl. I have a jam-packed schedule. Then, you have another reason to go back to your parents' place. Hey, break it off. What's the matter? We're gonna live together. Why don't we become a bit friendlier? You, you don't, don't get it! Wait, I'm the idiot here? There's only two bedrooms, so... Don't worry, I'll sleep in your bed. Are you on Prozac? I will. You two are both girls, why don't you guys sleep together? No! This apartment belongs to our father. You're an outsider here. Monato told me I could live here. You should grow up, otherwise your big brother will be disappointed in you. What's wrong with you, even though I asked Dad and Mom to let me move in with him? You can't keep him to yourself as long as I'm here. In the first place, are you aware you two are siblings? That's... What's wrong with me liking my brother? We're not blood-related. We can get married. You fell for him at 13. I've been in love with him ever since I was little. What? But... Monato, you suddenly got a sister. You had no idea both of us have feelings for you. We entered college and I thought we could become closer. Then, she just moved in with you. I can't believe it. Miharu, sorry, I was just... I'm sorry too. There's no water leak. I couldn't hold myself back after I heard Sana-chan moved in with you. I'm going back to my apartment. Wait, Miharu, I have feelings for you. Monato? I was going to confess my love to you on the day of the high school graduation ceremony because I thought we'd be separated. But I came to know we'd enter the same college and I thought I wouldn't have to take the risk. Then I got to thinking that I'd rather have you in my life as a friend than that at all. I picked Nanakuma College because I found out you'd enter it. I wanted to stay beside you. Do you two see me here? Oh, Sana! Damn, I totally forgot about her. I was able to prevent you from confessing your love to her on the day of graduation ceremony, but it was just a matter of time, eh? Sana, you knew I have feelings for her? Of course. Everyone pays a lot of attention to the person they like. I knew Miharu-san had feelings for you too. Really? I thought you two would start dating as soon as college started, but nothing happened, so I thought I still had a chance. But it didn't work out. Sana, I'm sorry. Don't be. I haven't given up on you yet. Oh, but I'll go home for now. Actually, Dad and Mom have been telling me to come back. I'll come over someday soon. Good. Dad and Mom miss you. Oh, I'll come with you. Y yeah, I want to introduce you to them. I'm still here. Well, I'll go. I'll walk you to the station. Thanks, but I'm fine. Let me walk you. But... Okay, thanks. Let's go. Be back soon. Okay. 
Shana suddenly moved in with me and Miharu said she would too. And both of them confessed their love to me. I can't believe it. I'm glad my long year love has been reciprocated, but I feel complicated because I've come to know about Sana's feelings for me. However, I know I can't be nothing to her beyond a big brother. I hope we'll take our time and build a bond as siblings. Am I being selfish? Huh? Gotcha. But wait, was that a prank? There's no way I'd have feelings for you, Oni-chan. Oh man. I won't forgive you if you make Miharu-san cry. <laughs> you got me. This is for the best. <laughs>